People with type 2 diabetes are twice as likely to have fatty liver disease, also known as MASH. You know we had to do it. So what even is fatty liver disease or MASH? Well, it's the accumulation of fat in your liver that can lead to fibrosis, inflammation, and even liver cancer. That's not good. Fatty liver disease is asymptomatic in the early stages, so you might not even know you have it. That's why today we're talking about how to prevent, monitor, and treat it. I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. And we are taking control of your diabetes. Steve and I are both endocrinologists who've been living with type 1 diabetes since we were 15. And since 1995, we here at TCOID have been helping people with diabetes live longer, healthier, happier, and more productive lives through educational, entertaining, and downright fun videos just like this one. So if you want to elevate your diabetes control gain, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly doses of diabetes knowledge. All right, Steve, talking about fatty liver, what is fatty liver? Yes, fatty liver is a condition where too much fat in the blood gets into the cells of the liver, causing inflammation, and that eventually causes fibrosis, and that's not good, and then that could lead to cirrhosis, which means your liver cells die, and then eventually the need for a transplant, and people with fatty liver are at a much higher risk of getting liver cancer. So it's a serious condition. Yeah. And it's tough because a lot of people have uh, fat in their liver, but not everybody progresses to getting, you know, uh, fibrosis and liver cancer. But it's still very important to identify these people in these early stages. So when we talk about how common it is to have fat in your liver, kind of the first stages, it's up to 80% of people with type 2 diabetes, especially when they're overweight or obese. So it's very, very, very common. And Steve, what else runs with fatty liver? Why do we kind of, what categories do we put it with? Yeah, it's a category of metabolic dysfunction, which is high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol levels, and because cholesterol is fat that gets into the cells. We have type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. They go together, high glucose levels, and the basic core problem is obesity. Yeah. And that's why people in this country who don't even have diabetes have fatty liver. Yeah. So if you're overweight or obese, you're at high risk of having fat in your liver too. But then if you add diabetes on top yeah. of that, it elevates your risk even farther. 60% of people with type 2 have fatty liver, but another 30% have the more serious form of MASH, which means they have fibrosis. Mm. When you have fibrosis, that a red light should go off with you and your doctor. So you're saying, how do I know if I have this? Well, the good news is there's some simple blood tests that you can get done that are actually a very routine thing that you're probably doing uh, every year without you knowing about it. And from your kind of basic labs, your doctor can calculate what's called a FIB4, F-I-B-4, where they just put in three simple blood test values. It's called your AST, your ALT, your platelets. And from there, it spits out a number. And if it's elevated, it tells you you're at very high risk for fibrosis in the liver. And you should move on to more diagnostic steps, maybe some imaging of your liver and likely being sent to a liver specialist. Yeah, there's a thing called a fiber scan. It checks the flexibility of your liver. So if there's fibrosis, it doesn't move much. Yeah. And that's the next step. But you're right, the, the FIB4 value all of you can actually calculate because you need a chemistry panel, a CBC, which have those four, those three labs, and then you should know your age. And ask your doctor what your FIB4 is and just watch them give a glazed over look and you can get <laughs> kind of one over on them. So how do you treat it? Well, the, the core tenant is really weight loss. And thankfully, we have these newer medications, these GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic, Manjaro, and others that can help people lose weight. And when you lose weight in your entire body, guess what? Your liver gets a little thinner too. Yeah. If you get treatment early, you can actually reverse some of the fat mm -hmm. in the liver. And there's also one FDA approved drug for MASH. That's called Resdifa. Mm -hmm. And that reduces the fat in the liver and has been shown to reduce fibrosis. It's all about fibrosis because once you develop fibrosis, it leads to much more severe problems. We want to hear from you. Has your doctor talked to you about MASH? Have you been screened or diagnosed with it? Let us know in the comments. Remember, life expectancy doesn't have to be lower with type 2 diabetes, and complications don't have to be serious. Be proactive with monitoring your liver and take control of your diabetes. 
Now, this is actually a very meaty topic, and we did a full podcast on it where we go into much more detail. So be sure to check that out on our website or on whatever podcast platform you use. See you later.